Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Oh, look! Wave finally has another one-eyed friend to play with. Oh. Shut up! It's true, but... Shut up! Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Voyager Class World. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is. You have a very cool picture of Whirl hanging out there, looking very cool. He has three modes. Kinda, yes, Thrilling 30, all that good stuff, yes, he's an Autobot, yes, stuff and things. On the back you have your obligatory product shots, you got your tech specs, and you got your bio right there, if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along here, we have Whirl in his helicopter mode, and uh, very indicative of his uh, G1 self. And uh, looks good, looks really good, nice yellow propellers going on there. They spin very freely, very nicely, as does the tail rotor. Spins very nicely. Get a good spin going on there. That did, whoop, came undone there. But I did, whoa, hey, 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 there we go. I dig helicopters that give me a good spin like that. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, it's a little light on paint apps, but that's because he actually comes with, guess what? A sticker sheet! Guess what? He comes with his own set of repro labels. <laughs> I haven't put them on yet. I don't know if I will. I'll probably... I might just put on the Autobot symbols. I don't know if I'll put on the rest of this stuff, but I'll let you take a look at them. And just various little details to put on the helicopter mode. And whatnot, and some red stripes to put on them. But, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'll put all this on him, but eh, maybe. We'll see. But, um... Still very cool. Got the nice trans clearing cockpit going on right there, and it does open. There's a bit of a molded in seat there, a bit of a, you know, controls and whatnot. I think even the uh, little control panel is actually molded in there. Can't see it too well, but it's there. That just clicks close. But um, very nicely done. Very cool. I do dig it. I dig it very much. Getting close here. Nice riveting detail. Just, you know, a lot of good work done here. He looks good. He looks very. Very nice, and I do appreciate that. And he does come packed with weaponry. Look, he comes with guns and stuff. He comes with uh, machine guns and, and, and these kind of guns and this kind of this kind of gun and, and these kind of missile gun things. And they all have various posts and clips everywhere. Just post, clip, clip, clip. The post, clip, clip, and that's the for robot mode, and and post, 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 uh, post, post, you know, clip, clip, lot, lots of stuff here. So basically, he does have various clip points on him. You can take these weapons, you can clip them in. Let me see how I usually do it. I usually do it like this. I like to clip this one right here, and I clip this one down here to this clip, like that. And then I clip this up here to the other side, like that. And then I take the machine gun. You can't take the machine gun, and there is a port right underneath the nose cone here. You can take that, plug that in right there. But then they kind of, eh, not too asymmetrical, but, you know, it, he looks pretty good all armed up there. So you can totally arm him up with some weapons. And for comparison, here he is with Generations Springer. And you can see how they look together. Get this out of the way. So you can see how they look together, and they're pretty much the same length. Springer's obviously a little more uh, bulky in the back, but pretty much the same length. So, there you have that. But yeah, he's neat. I like him. I do quite like him. So we'll get down to transformation. So let's pop all this stuff off of him and get down to it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take these sections right here, you're going to take them, fold them back, just like that, 
and that will free up the legs. Now from here I will go into the third mode, um, <laughs> which is basically a girl walk mode. And what you're going to do here is you're going to take this whole assembly right here and you're going to slide it back on this slider, just like that. And you're going to rotate the legs so these hollow bits are facing outward, like that. Then you're going to take this bit right here, you're going to push this in, so that pops out and that will unlock this whole assembly here so you can then slide the foot out. And once you have the foot slid out, you'll see there's a post right there, it's going to fit into that clip right there. And lock into place. So there you have the foot. And then you can take the leg here and use that double joint and give him the chicken legs. Second verse, same as the first. Just pop that out, push it down. Click that right there to secure it, and then give him chicken legs. And these joints are quite tight on mine. There we go. And then once you do that, you can take the arms here, bring them out, bring them down. You can bring out his hands, and they are geared. The sides are geared together, so when one moves, the other one moves with it. So you bring out his claw hands, like that. Rotate them so the elbow is oriented properly. And then you're going to take this whole tail section. You're going to take it, bring it around, and you'll see right here, there's a tab right here. It'll tab into this slot right there. So you just take that, plug that in. And there you have the third mode. K. <laughs> why not? Dare I say why not? I mean, it's it, okay. Sure. Sure, I can work with this. Okay. That, that, if, if you say so, all right. <laughs> sure. That's pretty much all I can say about it. Just sure. All right. So let's get on to robot mode. So let's just untab this. Take the legs. Slide them back where they were. Bring them down. The legs are already done for you. The arms are already done for you. So all you have to do is just work on this back section here. You're just going to take it, untab it, and bring it back. You're going to take this section right here, split it, and bring it out and down like that. Bring this whole section down. And this whole tail section here is on a double hinge right here. So you're just going to take it and bring it up. And in between these two halves, like that, and you'll see here these little uh, tail fins are going to tab in right in there, and that'll close all that up. And then you can take this section right here, just bring this right across, so that propeller sits right in the middle of his back, and then you can take these, fold them down if you want, or you can leave them out, totally up to you, but you can fold them down. Once you do that, rotate the head. And he does do a pretty neat little trick here. Because if you see here, he does have his little antenna. And there's a little panel back here. He does have light piping, but it's covered up right now. So when you straighten out his antenna, it actually brings back that panel and exposes the piece there for the light piping. So he basically can just... <laughs> it, it basically wakes him up. It's like, hey, world, wake up. Hi, how you doing? So, that's a neat little trick. I, I do quite like that. And, uh, here you go. Here you have Whirl in his robot mode. Hey, he looks cool. He looks cool. Um, uh, you know, uh, myself, much like a lot of people, probably would have preferred a more IDW-looking Whirl. This is obviously... It, it, it's a mixture. It's a mixture between IDW World and G1 World, and, and that's fine. I, I dig it. I you know I, I see what they're going for here, and uh, I, I do still quite like it. Getting close here on the head sculpt, so you can see. Yep, that's that's World, all right. A nice head sculpt going on there. Considering it's just you know one eye, <laughs> but it still works. And, uh, you know, all around, it's it's a neat design, a very, very neat design. And I do quite dig it. I like how the backpack works here. It's pretty cool. 
I do quite like it. Now, if you don't dig the chicken legs, I mean, you can totally take the legs and just, you know, straighten them back out. You kind of have to... Yeah, you, you can kind of straighten the legs back out. Kind of works. I know I've, I've seen pictures where people have actually uh, rotated the legs around. So it looks like he has his ski feet, and that, that kind of works. If you don't like the chicken leg thing, you can totally do that. But me personally, I kind of like the chicken legs. I digs me some chicken legs. Kentucky Fried Chicken Legs. But that's just me. Actually, I don't eat Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore because they gave me food poisoning twice. But anyway, that's a story for another time. <laughs> but, yeah, very cool. Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint, so you can get some good movement going on there. Uh, shoulders are on a ball joint right here. So you get some good movement here, as well as some outward movement on this hinge, as well as full rotation. You do get a bicep swivel. You do get a double jointed elbow. You do get the grabby claw hands. Uh, legs can go forward. They can go back. About that much. The backpack does kind of get in the way there. Then go in and out. You get your thigh swivel. You get your joint here. You get your joint here. Uh, the feet don't move at all. The feet are just static. So, that's all the posability you're going to get out of this guy. And of course, guess what? He still has all these weapons. You can totally arm him up. Now, this weapon right here is made to... Whoa, made not to be dropped, anyway. But basically, you can fold this hand up and take it. And you can take this gun and slide it right over. You see it slides right over this tab right there. And give him a gun arm. And then what I like to do is I like to take, you see there's a, a port right here. I like to take this gun and just plug it in under his hand like that. So he has like an underslung machine gun. And then I take these guns and I use those clips and just clip them to the sides of his legs. Like that. And like that. So I get him nice and armed up. Like that. And he's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Now for comparison. Here he is with Voyager Sandstorm. You can see how he looks with that basic, you know, basically the same mold there. You can see how he looks. I mean, he's pretty much the same height. Even with the chicken legs, he's basically the same height. And if you straighten him out, he'd actually be a, a bit taller. So you have him with Sandstorm. Here he is with Skids. You can see how they look together. And here he is with someone he befriends in the comics. Here he is with Cyclonus. You can see how they look together. Kindred spirits. Kindred spirits. So, there you have him. As far as World goes, he's a cool toy. And, and again, I get what they were going for. They decided, you know what, we'll... we'll you know, we'll, we'll get the best of both worlds. We'll get in the, the, the G1 and we'll get in the IDW and mix it up. And um, I think they did a good job. I mean, he's he's a nice, solid toy. He's fun to play with and uh, definitely worth getting. If you see him, pick him up. He's he's quite, quite cool. And I, I really do like him. And um, I probably will sticker him up. <laughs> Most likely. But it's cool. Transformers that come with stickers again. Yay! It's like the 80s all over again. <laughs> but I think that's pretty much it for this guy. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plant, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Voyager Class World, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face. <laughs> Hey, Cyclonus, you'll never guess what happened. I walked in on Rodimus during one of his meetings, and he was making the funniest face, man. He was like... And then Drift was looking at him, and he was all serious, and his face just looked like... And then they noticed that I was standing there, and I was all surprised, and my face was just priceless, man. My face was like... And then Ultra Magnus turned to me and he totally looked at me like...
Oh, so you've heard this story before.